campaigner Jenny Watson has recently set up a new dating app for lesbians which uses facial recognition technology to make sure that only biological females can join. And this is due to concern that other apps are being used by men who uh, identify as female lesbians. Potential users of the new app will have to go through a process when they sign up whereby the app scans their face via their smartphone. And Jenny Watson is here to tell us more about it. Jenny, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much. So, um, now we've spoken before because obviously you had your uh, speed dating That's event it. for lesbians yeah. where men who identified as women tried to turn up. Yeah. It created a bit of a, a problem. Do you want to just quickly remind us what happened there? Um, so we were cancelled. Um, then we had our victory thanks yes. to the LGB alliance. But unfortunately, we were stormed by trans activists and they wouldn't let us have our events. So we had to self-cancel in the end. Right. So we've decided, let's make our own space. Let's make our own app. So in other words, there are activists who are not willing to allow lesbians to gather yeah. for a, well, let's face it, a romantic kind of idea, the idea of meeting other women who might be interested. And that's all it is. You know, it's not discrimination. You know, yes. there's no... It's, I wouldn't call it transphobia. We just want to meet in peace, and they've made it their mission to, well, it, to it, prevent that. It's interesting. I mean, that idea to say that it's discriminatory in some way, well, you may as well say that all forms of sexual orientation are discriminatory because there's a reason why gay men aren't attracted to women, for instance. It's not because they hate women. That's it, you yeah. Know, it's the same thing. So, OK, well, let's talk about your app. So you've, 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 you've had these activists preventing you from gathering, preventing you from having these dating events. So you've sort of taken matters into your own hands. Yeah. Tell us, what, what is the app? Where has it come from? OK, so the issue is that there's a real, real need for this. Um, we have one main dating app for lesbians in the UK. And every single time that you write in your bio that you do not recognise men as lesbians, you are banned. You get banned from the app? You get banned. For being a lesbian? For being a lesbian, right? And they've even put this on their Twitter profile recently after we had some, a bit of a, you know, media attention because yes. of our app. And they said, uh, we will ban you if you... Uh, if you have these sentiments and... Now, people watching this won't believe this. But, I mean, you know, I, I, even I can't, you know, it's... it's... It, it is astonishing. And you have a similar thing with Grindr, which is a, an app for gay men, where they've been shaming men who are only attracted to other men. But that's I, the whole point. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I think, like, with, with lesbians, it's been a problem for a lot longer. But for gay men, in recent years, the same thing is happening and... Well, I spoke to yeah. Sal Grover on this show, who obviously has her app yeah. in Australia, and that's gone all the way to the High Court. Yeah. Because a man who identifies as a woman is demanding access to this lesbian-only platform. That's it. So what you're saying is that trans people are free to do whatever they want and go on the apps they want, but this is specifically for women who are interested sexually in all, other women. That's all it's right, you know, it's plain and simple, yeah. So you've decided to set up this face scanning technology. Can you talk us through that idea? OK, so obviously, you know, it's not going to be foolproof. Right. Because that's the nature of this kind of software. Yes. But I've scanned my own face and it was 99.997% accurate. Pretty good. Right? That's yes. not bad. Yeah. <laughs> and one of our developers has a younger brother. He's 19, 20. We should I admit this, got a wig for him, put some makeup on, and what did that tell us? Male. OK, so it effectively does this pretty, pretty much yep. on, on all, nearly 100% of the time. Nearly 100% of the time, but, you know, if it doesn't work out, then we have manual backup. Yes. We have um, uh, video backup, so they'll send a video, they'll say statements, they'll make movements and things yes. like that. So. So yeah. effectively you're saying, you know, there's this other app that exists for for lesbians but who, who, who clearly don't mind the idea of gender identity being prioritised over biological sex. And you're saying this is an app for women who are attracted to other that's, women. That's, biological. All, that's all it is, yeah. 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 And people won't understand this, but actually, I mean, Graham Linehan, who has been on this show, uh, he actually did go onto a lesbian app saying he was a woman, yeah. and the app completely accepted him. And, and God love Graham, I'm not having a go at him, but he, he doesn't look like a pretty woman, you know. <laughs> no, he, uh, doesn't, uh, he doesn't, but it proves the point. It, but it, it, he absolutely uh, proved that point, and it was, and it was a, a very good point to prove, a satirical point. Absolutely. This is happening. I've seen screenshots from lesbian dating apps where there are individuals with full beards. Yeah, I mean, we've... So, OK, so 
What we're doing is we're creating a community and it's mm. called L Community and um, so we have different com uh, components to it. We've got the app, we've got a social networking site. We're going to open a venue at the end of the year. But uh, in terms of the social networking site, we have been inundated by biological male applicants mm. and we have had to see some really, really nasty things. Um, it's taken up our time. We're a small team, and you know it's it's. So they're sending you abuse, effectively. Abuse and highly sexual content, and. Yes. Uh, I mean that's shocking because I mean how difficult can it be for them to say okay this is an app that's not for us. Yeah. You know that that that's mm -hmm. absolutely fine, surely. Yeah. And why would they want to be on an app? with people who don't find them attractive? Yeah, uh, it's a control thing, I think. Is that what it is? You well, I, I, I would suspect so, yeah. You know, they're, u they're, used to be to they're used to be told that they can have what they want, and when they can't, then they go for it. And what do you make of Active? I mean, they, they just throw the label transphobe at you. What do you make of it when people say that to you? Well, I don't agree with that at all, because I know trans people, I respect them, I consider gender dysphoria to be a legitimate uh, issue and I have respect for, for people who experience that. So it's just, no, that's, what, not a fa that's not a fair label at all. And w what sort of response have you had from the lesbian community? I mean, did, is there a great demand for the kind of services you're yeah, offering? Yeah, we've had a uh, good demand and we've now got a wait list. Because oh, it's really? Got, yeah, it's got quite, yeah, it's... So do you yeah. want to tell us just any more about where people can find out information about it and how they can sign so up? If, if you just go on to the website, so it's lcommunity.co.uk. Yes. Um, then you can sign up to the waitlist because we've got a bit of a backlog at the moment. So. Well, it's clearly yeah. uh, there's clearly a big demand then. So you're doing something right. Yeah, because it's the it's the first one, and yeah. that's so insane. You know, if you think about it, right? Yeah. You know, the, the the main lesbian app in the UK they don't actually recognise lesbians. And so we're going to change that. Well, And uh, that's, that, I think that's, you know, it's a absolutely, pretty big thing. Absolutely incredible.